new knives, high-end budget, we've got it all. Let's light it up. So right off the bat, we've got a new release from Southern Grind right there. Zach Brown Band, Southern Grind. Um, and we did our March Madness Blades forging the ultimate knife bracket challenge and this one ends up very close to what you guys wanted if anything it's everything in the top two yeah like runner-up or first place with exactly. because you get titanium with micarta that was first and second and then you get uh the push button which was second yep and then you get what's kind of a drop point what you were saying they, but it's, it's listed as a sheep modified sheep's foot yep and Magna cut on the blade steel, which was number, number one. one. Um, so, I mean, there's people out there listening, obviously. And this is a great knife, all American made, coming in at 365. And Southern Grind has really done a revamp of their product line, and I really like the direction that they're going. I like the stuff that they're putting out. The action on this one is phenomenal. What do and you think about how the this titanium flows into the back of the knife like that, exposed with that. Right. I, I don't feel like I've seen that often. Right, or it's not, all. and it's it's mainly been on, I guess, uh, short run, like uh, custom knife makers, or, you know, it, it not been a not been a lot, right, like you said. And it, I like it. I think it's really cool, especially where your fingers go around right there. I think it feels really good in the hand because it swells just up here at the top where you need it to. Um, but it it feels really really good, and uh, I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and let people drink early. I dig it. <laughs> I dig it. I like I like the little. Uh, we were we we're getting to show you guys this because uh, one of the the reps is here today. Yeah, and... Simon's here, um, and we got to have a nice meeting with him. I love I love I noticed that they're doing this on them now. Yeah. So I, I really like that, and I don't know if I'll be able to get it, but. Just a yeah. It it's nice. It's it, satisfying. It does have a mid tech feel to it. Yeah. So. And you know, uh, I guess if you were if you weren't a fan of how chunky their earlier models were with like the Spider Monkey, I can say that a lot of the new handle materials and the new designs of like the Spider Monkey and ones like that are going to be a little thinner. Um, and another one that we've got from them to show off, and this one's going to be a dealer exclusive. So the only way to find this one is going to be either going directly to Southern Grind or coming straight to us, uh, and that is the Penguin here. This thing is gorgeous, and I feel like this one competes directly with something like the Narrows. Um, you're talking premium quality materials, titanium, frame lock, flipper or thumb hole, and super satisfying s90v on the blade steel there so just a gorgeous knife and like i said this specific colorway is only going to be available as a dealer exclusive so either um through a authorized dealer of southern grind it's not going to be available through a distributor dealer so um wow did you yeah it's that? got a good thing it i think i think as uh pat mcafee calls them i'd call that one the penguin the penguin the penguins that's uh I, I really like that and i want to say the price is coming in somewhere around 480 map um don't quote me on that necessarily but it's going to be close um and you can see penguin. the little penguin head little penguin little penguin get that a oh, in there God. yeah it's so satisfying it's even yeah. yeah that's pretty cool uh they're definitely changing the game and they're really big on being American made yeah. across the board. That is their thing. And they stick to it. And honestly, like even on that, that Hornet right there, to have all those premium material, you, you're having my card and titanium and yeah. Magna Cut and push button and American made. I think uh, three, 365 is a pretty sweet spot. That, yeah. like, that's what you want all those things and made in America. That's that's about the price. That's, like that, that's, that's what you got to do. That's about get right it. where it's at. Yeah. Even if that was made overseas, uh, you might could bring the price of that down to maybe two fifty, two eighty, yeah, max. So you want American made, you got to pay for it. And yep. uh, 
I think I think that was really worth it, and man, it's making me kind of want it. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> And speaking of kind of wanting it, um, but not being able to get it, uh, we're going to show off really quick the Benchmade Gold Class. This is the 710 tribute right there, the McHenry and Williams uh, design. And, of course, this is bringing back the old 710 model, um, but in a gold class with the damaged steel blade. Uh, now, we filmed this on Wednesday. This drops Thursday. So uh, as of the airing of this. This will not be available. This will not be available. We've already um, had people calling in wanting it. We just wanted to show it because it's so rare. And like, matter of fact, how does it feel holding this now for the last time? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's, I mean, I got to say, it's nice. It feels great. Only 250 of them were made. This is number 43 right here. And uh, I mean, it's already been bought, basically. Uh, but I will say, and this is for complete transparency, um, we had a lot of people approach us and send us messages and wanted to buy it, wanted first dibs at it. We can't do that. That would not be okay. Um, so this one will go available on our website. It went available on our website on Thursday, and the first person to get to it gets it. That's, that's all we can do um, because that's the only right way to do it. Uh, I want to bring out the first and only fixed blade on today's show. And this one's very interesting. Well, actually... One of two fixed blades. We don't have one to show you, but we're going to roll in some B-roll of that one. In a minute. Yes. Um, this one is very interesting. So this is a new Puma. This is the uh, SGB Hunter's Pal. Um, and this one's coming in with the olive wood on the handles. Uh, really nice mosaic pins right there. And, of course, you got all the information right there. The SGB Hunter's Pal right there. German steel. That's 4116 German steel. And the interesting thing about this one, Rockwell tested. So you can see the divot right there on the blade tang. It has been Rockwell tested, um, and apparently that's what they're doing with all of their For fixed sure, blades, or at least all of these fixed blades um, specifically. So a little speck right there. That's a really cool aspect. So most companies don't do that. They'll, they'll run a batch, and they might test one or two. But um, to see that on all of these, the Hunter's Pals, um, I think really speaks to the quality and also the uh, desire for consistency across their product line. So I really like that. And coming in at 92 bucks, um, that's a really nice little fixed blade there with a nice super thick leather sheath. This thing is awesome. Yeah, that's pretty and, cool stuff. Uh, a good a good price as well. So uh, another one, um, new fixed blade that we just got in. Um, but we couldn't get it up here in the studio quick enough, but we wanted to tell you guys about it. We're going to roll in some B-roll. The Smolt is here. So, yeah, this is a really interesting one. Um, <laughs> I actually have this one, and we fought over it at Blade Show yep. uh, Texas. And Jeremy lets you have it. Yeah, well, I have the uh, the Kaiser... Uh, Militaw. Militaw, and it's from the same designer mm -hmm. to look kind of similar and... They sit beside each other uh, on my sh shelf that I keep all my knives on at home, and I really liked it. It feels good and has a perfect small blade that uh, I, I don't really like carrying a fixed blade on me unless it's fairly small. Yeah. And that one works pretty good as um, uh, as, a, as an everyday carry, and I like it. I use use the heck out of it. But yeah, that we've got it in now. CPM three V, um, well under a hundred bucks. So. That's a, that's a great deal on that, and we've been really excited about that. Uh, and as far as I know, we got, uh, we got the first shot at it, and i um, really excited to have those in. We've got quite a few of those, so if you want one of those, get them while you can, because I don't know when we're going to be able to get them back in again. So, Smolt is in. It's here. We know you guys were excited about it. Next up is going to be this uh, Chavez, I mean, uh, excuse me, this uh, Chavez right here. And I got to say, this is probably my favorite Chavez that I've ever handled. This is called the Scapegoat Street. M390 blade steel, thick titanium handles, milled titanium she pocket thick. clip. She thick. T-H-I-C-C, -C, baby. Uh, Ambi thumb studs right there, frame lock, and just a great action. Isn't that Super satisfying. When you do it with your thumb, I go, Doo. Yeah. And I like, I like the finger choil on it. Uh, it's just, it feels so confident. Like, it, that's, a, 
a beautiful blade right there. It's very basic, but not basic at the same time. It's very clean, modern, but also it's like, wow, that's a really cool looking knife. Like how, Classy. How does it do it? Classy. And I love their pocket clips. I love the skull pocket clips. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that, they're cool. They're definitely fine. We've seen people in OVs and sand them out, smooth them. That's the nice thing about how, with it coming in with just raw titanium, there's so much you can do with that if you want to customize it and make it your own. That uh, And something that nobody else is going to have, literally. And that one's coming in at 300. Um, so all premium materials and coming in at 300 bucks and the satisfaction of Chavez knives. I, I, I love their products. I love what they put out and uh, really, really like that one. Yeet approved, I think. Yeet approved, yeah. Yeet, it's, it's a hefty boy. Yeet approved. Now, we're going to go through these fairly quick. Um, we did order some more Vero's because you guys loved them so much. We sold out of them really quick. We've got a ton of them. I only brought a handful of them up here to show. Um, but we've got axons, we've got neurons, um, we've got photons. I'm just kidding. That's I made that up. But um, this one's with the carbon fiber and the black wash blade. Uh, I mean, we're talking just a wonderful action. Uh, and they're all numbered, too. I just noticed that, that. I just got a little distracted by that. So they're all numbered, which is also another nice aspect, something only, ha only a handful of companies do. Um, front flipper on this one and really easy actuation, especially when you wouldn't think of it because that front flipper is very unobtrusive. You wouldn't think that that would be so easy to manage. I didn't even, I didn't even use my wrist. I, like I was saying before the show, this was my favorite one on the table. I really liked this one specifically. That one's coming in at 345. Just, I love it. I love it. And I love to, this is another aspect of fit and finish, the pocket clip. You can't see any screws. It's actually screwed in from the inside here. And it's not reversible, so uh, you don't have any screw holes or anything like that, any plates that have uh, plate fillers. Well, that's not very fair to the, the right, the left-handed community. is. It? But that's the nice thing about Vero is they also make left-handed versions as well. Um, we've also got, as far as the Axon goes, we've got the Micarta version with the same black wash blade now. The carbon fiber version is coming in at 345. This one's coming in at 310. Um, same design across the board, just with the micarta handles. Um, and another one that is really, really nice. Uh, really useful blade shape as well. Uh, not always been my favorite with that sheep's foot blade, but I gotta say, they do it well. They do it really well. Now, as far as the neurons, the ones that we've got right here are non-locking, so they're double detents. Um, we've got the all-black version here, and then Isaac's got the, um, that's the belt, or the hand satin, rather, um, in the raw titanium. Beautiful. I mean, just super classy. And those are coming in, 290 for the black wash, 305 there for the hand satin and the um, raw titanium. gives you a nice little squeak. And then, um, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, and then we've also got this one. Now this one's gonna be obviously a more premium version. That's Dama Steel on the blade. Um, and you guys know what Dama Steel is. It is a premium um, Damascus. I'm jealous blade. of anybody who has it because I know they had a mortgage something, put, refinance something to get it, so. That one's coming in for 600 but that's beautiful. That is a work of art right Damascus there. Damascus is the, uh, how do you say it? cream of the... The creme de la creme? Yeah, that's what I would say it is. The creme de la creme. If you have it, I, I would cringe at you using it just because of how beautiful it is, but I want to see one bad A person out there that just beats it to death. Oh, yeah, like, absolutely. I don't care. <laughs> So if you have damage still, yeah. let me know. I I probably won't ever be able to afford it, but would like to have it. If somebody wants to send send one in, I just address it, Isaac Ward. 
<laughs> Next up, and this is going more towards the affordable side of things um, because, I mean, we want to put stuff out there that's for everyone. Um, so all price ranges. This one is going to be a new one that uh, we just got in from Kaiser, and this is the Hiccup. Now, we were just talking about this on another Kaiser, I believe, about the, the micarta handles on it, how they were uh, made a little bit differently. And, and this one is t it has the same material on it. Again, it's... A really it's, smooth finish. It's, it's unique compared to, like, what we were just showing with this. Uh, it's just maybe, maybe a little closer with the... Yeah, see how fine that is? Yeah, it's... She's so fine. She's so fine. I, like, I really love it. It's very fidgety. You've got several ways to open it. You've got the thumb hole, which you can reverse flick easily without any wrist action. Um, and you've also got the front flipper, which actuates really easily. You've got the button lock aspect, so you can just flip it out right there. We've got another one here. This is the Kaiser Escort right here. Um, now, this one's actually been up on our website for a little while. Uh, we actually just got this one in to our showroom. Um, it may or may not be in stock. I, I only saw one down on the floor. But uh, this one's the Escort with the rich light handles. Um, and I love that rich light. I, I think it looks really nice. It's got a different look and feel to it. Um, it this does. one's with the crossbar lock. Again, 154 CM on the blade steel. I don't know if we have had too many knives on the show with. Rich light handles. The only ones that I can think of right off the top of my head were Smith & Sons, the Shoal case. that we had. Um, and we did have some case with rich light handles, yes. So really nice, really good, decent size EDC. I mean, that's that's going to be like a three inch blade, um, which some people might consider small. Um, I think that that's kind of crazy. But um, yeah, we got a message this morning that uh, somebody was looking for a small knife around three inch blade. I was like, what? <laughs> That's a small knife to you? <laughs> Jesus. Plenty of you ask me. We've got Andre the Giant hands over here. What is that, a blood groove in there? Yeah. <laughs> got the nice blood groove in there. Um, now, this one we want to show off. Uh, we don't have very many of these. There's only a handful of them left. So this is that curly maple right there, first production run canoe. We've got several of these first production runs throughout this series still available. But also, this one is available now as well. We've got brass liners, uh, brass pins, and a brass case shield, which really sets this off, again, with the nickel silver on the bolsters. I think it looks really good as far as that contrast goes, especially with that curly maple there. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Good fit and finish. Nice quality there. And if you want to get your hands on one of these first production runs, it also comes in the first production run box. That's here. new for them. Yeah. So, also comes with the first production run box. Very, very good deal right there. Keep your boxes, people. For a collectible, $87.99. Um, and like I said, we've got several of those throughout that series in the first production run. We've also got the regular ones as well, if that's something you're looking for. And last, but certainly not least, is going to be this Sin Cut right here. Come on, man. This one's called the Glide Strike. There and, <laughs> This one's called the Glide on Strike. Else. I, don't, I don't know what it was focusing on there. That's, uh, I don't think anybody's supposed to see that. Um, but this one's called the Glide Strike from Sincut. And uh, we've gotten a ton of new Wii Civivi and Sincut knives in uh, over the last few weeks. And this is another new one here. Um, nice, I believe that's G10 on the handles, if I'm not mistaken. That's what it felt like to me. Um, like I said, brand new, so I don't I don't have all of the specs exactly on it. Uh, blade steel on that one, I believe. Eight CR. Is it eight CR? Yeah, um, and that's coming in at thirty nine ninety five. You get the fit and finish and feel of a Civivi or a Wii at the price of thirty nine ninety five. So you have to sacrifice somewhere. Eight CR. It's still a formidable blade steel. Um, I would say one of the best and most used of the budget blade steel. I would say it's the most owned. <clears throat> yes, absolutely. So, unless unless you're watching this channel, because if you're watching this channel, you obviously really care about knives, but 
your buddy who just does stuff on the side and has a knife, nine times out of ten, those guys have 8CR. Yeah, 8CR, I'll say, and 440. Yeah. And, I mean, it's a formidable blade steel, and for that price, I think it's a great quality. Um, and I like that design, too. We've also got that in several different colors. We've got it in black. I think we've got it in red. Of course, the green. So those are available. And uh, we want you guys to let us know, now that we're, we're done with the new knives, let us know which one of these was your favorite. Um, yeah, this was mine. That was yours? Yeah. yeah. I think I'm going to have to go with either the Chavez or the Hiccup. That um, but now I can't if, I can't include this because this one's not available yet. Uh, that would um, be that, that would be my choice. Yeah, this the, would be my Hornet. choice. The Hornet, if it was available now, um, it will be available very soon. Um, they're going into production the end of this month, and they will be available at Blade Show in Atlanta at least by then. So, um, really like that one. And I think after seeing the prices of everything else today, that one's price seems pretty good, don't it? Yep, sure does. I think so. For all American made, quality materials, and what you guys were looking for as far as the March Madness blades, yeah. I, I think it it's there. Well, folks, that's our show. Uh, like I said, let us know which one of these was your favorite. As always, it's been me, TC, here at Smoking Mountain Knifeworks, along with Isaac and Greg. We love you guys. Remember, if it cuts, uh, we'll talk about it and then hopefully sell it and you'll buy it and we'll carry it. I like you as a brand. Words. Turtles. I like turtles. Because we carry it. <laughs>